theorize behind is to go to all of the event work. How to make best use of your time. Challenges of finding a job environment. So I received an email from one of you lovely lot and I'm just going to read out part of the email for you. I would be delighted if you could make a video addressing how you tackle the challenges associated with pursuing biomedical sciences and then in brackets funding opportunities, jobs, workplace networking, and how to make the best use of the time while pursuing a master's in this field. Warm regards, your subscriber. Firstly, I just want to say for the person who sent in that email, thank you for all of the nice things you said before um, asking your questions. It honestly meant a lot to me. But let's waste no time. Let's just get straight into the question. So I think to begin with, one of the main challenges of pursuing biomed is obviously meeting all of the minimum requirements. Now, at the time when I was applying, you needed, I think, an AAB to get into do biomed at my university, which was Newcastle. But because I was part of a summer school um, that you could go and do, <clears throat> again, sorry guys, I've still got this <clears throat> cold thing. But anyway, as I was saying, because I, did a summer school um, and passed the summer school, I was able to get in with an ABB. But having said all of that, I think even if you don't get exactly the requirements that you need, sometimes there is a little bit of leeway and universities may still allow you a place. Now the next thing that you asked about was funding opportunities. Now as I mentioned in the video I made a few days ago talking about how I financed my degrees, I said that because I am a UK national, my um, tuition loan, I mean my tuition fees and also my living expenses were paid for by a loan that I got from the government. But yes, because my expenses were paid for by the government, so I guess it's a loan that I will have to continue paying back from now on, um, I didn't really look into any kind of funding. Although if you do want to learn a little bit more about, you know, bursaries and grants and things like that, do watch that other video because you might find it useful. So the next part of the question was asking about jobs and, you know, the challenges of finding a job with biomed. Oh gosh, okay, so this is something I've talked about a lot um, and it is very, very stressful because biomed is a kind of course that it's very broad so, you know, you can become a biomedical scientist, yes, but generally because it's such a broad topic, there are so many jobs that you can go into and there isn't necessarily a straightforward path. So for example, if you study dentistry, generally you become a dentist, but with biomed, uh, now again, I have made an individual video talking about some job and career opportunities that you can go into with this course. So I will link that below. Um, but I'm not going to go into too much uh, too much detail here because as I said, I think I covered um, the majority of all of the challenges that I had with regards to jobs in that video. Now the third thing, which I think is a really important and very um, good question to ask about, is workplace networking. And you know, I can look back in hindsight and think I definitely did not do enough networking during my undergraduate as I could have. Now because you are asking about the challenges of biomed, I can see um, why you might think that workplace networking is kind of a challenge, but honestly it's only a challenge um, in terms of how confident you are to just go up to your lecturers and just ask extra questions and just try to build rapport with them. The only kind of networking I did, which wasn't even networking, was when I was studying in my third year, I would um, write out loads of different practice essays and I would send them to different uh, university professors and lecturers across the faculty and ask for feedback. And as I said, that's not necessarily networking, but in a way it kind of is because they might um, see my name and be like, oh, this student. And then like later on, if I go and speak with them, uh, they'll be like, oh yeah, you're the person who sent in this essay, right? But my best advice, having gone through it all and looking back in hindsight, is to try and build that relationship with your lecturers by going um, to see them right at the end of a lecture and just kind of introducing yourself and being like, hi, I'm this person, I found your lecture really useful, um, would you mind answering a question about this or that? For the most part, they're very happy to do so and I think this is a really good way because the majority of biomed courses are massive. So my course was, I think, 300 and something at the start of the year, so there's absolutely no way um, for the lecturers to get to know all of you. But if you want to network and if you want to stand out and if you want to build relationships, just go and give them a little hello at the end. You don't even have to ask a question. If anything, I think that would be really fun 
flattered if you just went up and said, you know what, I really enjoyed your lecture. Now, the next part of the question was how to make the best use of your time while pursuing a master's in this field. I gotta say, this kind of depends on the type of master's you're doing. So because I was doing an MRES, which is a master of research, I did not have a lot of free time. Having said that, I managed to squeeze out a little bit of time to do work experience with medicine, make these videos, do some volunteering, do a part-time job here and there, but generally it was all quite surface level. Having said that, if you do pursue a master's in this field, the best, the best thing you can do to make the most out of your time is to go to all of the events that you are going to have access to as a biomed student or as a master's student. So for example, in my case, every week we would have um, emails going around of all of these different events and all of these different specialists who are co coming to the university to give talks. Um, loads of PhD students presenting their work, poster presentations, like anything you can think of, there was always something going on. Now, looking back again, I wish that I'd made use of this a bit more and tried to attend um, a lot more of these gatherings because not only is this amazing in the sense that you get to, you know, hear from some of the best people in the field and learn so much more, but it's also an amazing networking event and you know it doesn't even have to be that intimidating because I'm sure there'll be lots of other students there as well. All in all though I think different people experience different challenges when it comes to biomed so I guess even me making this video I'm only tackling a few aspects of it but all I can do is to encourage you guys is if you do pursue this route and if challenges do arise which they will and um, the best thing you can do is ask people. One thing I didn't do enough of during my studies was asking more questions. So a problem would arise and I would try and tackle it here and there or maybe I would ask people but it wouldn't necessarily be the right people. So I would just say if challenges do arise try and hit them on the head. If you have a question to do with funding ring up the funding bodies at universities and ask. If you have a question about networking email like your tutor or somebody that you feel close to and ask I would like to make, I would like to do some more networking, do you know any events or can I come and speak to you etc. I hope this video was somewhat useful and once again thank you so much for your question. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it because that would help me out a lot and I think that's everything. Alright, I hope you're all having a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow.